Hi everyone, I'm Song Yun, uh, studying mathematics at the EPFL, and I'm here today to show you briefly about what I have been what I have been doing for my semester project. First of all, I wanted to analyze a brain network using persistent homology, which is an algebraic tool used in topological data analysis to get uh, topological information of a space of our interest. Given a data set from the BBP, I took local efficiency as, um, as a measure to create a filtration to compute persistent homology, which tells us actually about how efficiently the local communication goes without a certain node. And here are some of the efficiency patterns that I obtained after computing all the local efficiency for all nodes in each layer set. And actually, uh, one, thing, one good thing to note is that high efficiency of a certain node tells us that the communication efficiency without that node still, uh, is still high. So to get to the point, the basic idea of persistent homology is first to construct a filtration of, spa of a space that we are looking at, and then follow basis elements from the moment they first appear in the filtration up to the moment they do not exist any longer as an individual by being combined to the others to form a bigger component. Um, and the fact that we focus on those elements that persist long, long time in the filtration allows us to get a global outlook of a network. And this is a simple example of a filtration and I depicted a barcode that shows us um, how long each basis element persists in the filtration. And normally, uh, it's more visual to have a persistence diagram, which is just a 2D version of a barcode to uh, see the result. And to wrap up quickly, my semester project was a first attempt to have a look at the global organization of a brain network um, in terms of one of the classical graph theoretic measures called uh, local efficiency. In the next slide, I also have the last slide, but I will keep it as a, a small secret for you to discover shortly after. Thank you. Thank you.